Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to War Thunder Meta. And in this episode, we are going to discuss something that has been catching my attention. At first, I thought it was a weird occurrence that matches suddenly ended and it was suddenly done. And then somebody pointed it out to me and then I started to realize they have changed the maximum match time from an hour to 25 minutes. Gaijin, you did what? Why did they do that? I mean, bloody hell, there is so much to go into there. This has so many repercussions on the meta of War Thunder, on which planes are good, on how you have to play out a match, how your tactics should work. Can you go back to an airfield when you're broken? Uh, encourages... Well, I'm, I'm going to go into it. I have... It has pained me to think about this and to realize that they have actually reduced the maximum game time to 25 minutes, just 25 minutes. And some of you might say, well, why do you think this is a bad idea? I don't know, I don't know who came up with this idea, but I think it is an insanely bad idea for the quality of gameplay and for getting that satisfaction out of War Thunder. Especially for the people who play certain difficult types of planes, right? But anyway, why is this a bad idea? You might say, but Django, the regular match, the average match just takes 15 to 20 minutes. Why is 25 minutes a bad idea? And uh, regular dogfights stay the same and initial clash is fine. So why would you complain? Well, first of all, to start with, it reinforces the current meta. The climb fast and get in the action fast, furball kind of a realistic battle action. That is what is going to be reinforced because in 25 minutes that time goes by quickly. I mean, if you are, for example, in an American boom and zoomer, you have to side climb to f for five to eight minutes. Then you're going to have to position yourself for three minutes. Then you're already 10 minutes into the match. You're going to start your, your fight. You fight for five minutes. Then you only have 10 minutes left. Sometimes you're out of, out of um, ammo. Sometimes you need to refuel or sometimes you're damaged. You have to go back to the airfield, that's another five minutes of flying. You get back to the middle of the map, the match is over, done. Second part of the match is gone. So yeah, it, enforce, it reinforces certain kinds of planes and it encourages stupid gameplay habits. Just jump in, get the kills and forget about it. Who cares that you die, the match will be over in 25 minutes anyway. What is the point of uh, playing for survivability and trying to survive? Which is what a usual pilot in real life would do. You want to be the last man standing. That kind of stuff gets discouraged this way. 25 minutes is not a long time for a match. Even though the average time of a match may be below that. There's plenty of matches there that, it is, that are longer. And I'm going to say the best kind of matches are longer. Now, it also disqualifies, heavily disqualifies planes that are slower in climb rate, need a lot of uh, setup, a lot of side climbing, positioning, and then thorough decision making and disciplined uh, flying. If you have five minutes left and you're a, 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 a more stiffer on the elevator, boom and zoomer, and you have two turners uh, behind you that cannot keep up with you quite, but are not that much slower, you need time to take distance right and to turn around it, this one encourages you to turn around quicker and to get into the action quicker because you don't have that much time and that would you know be detrimental for those kind of planes it would actually disqualify those planes from actually flying them because in a 25 minute match you either take a lot of head-ons and you try to kill people quickly or you play your plane right as you used to be able to in an hour long match but this really disqualifies a lot of planes, which I really don't like. Well, that's my opinion. It can be a debate about that. Leave it in the comments what you think about it. Most important thing for me though, that it removes the glory in the Air RB game, and that is the match reversal. Now we are not talking about a reversal of a plane or a single dogfight. That can still happen and it can still be fun but it removes those magical match reversals where your team gets slaughtered in the start of the match. You are somewhere on the side of the map or, or you won your side of the engagement or you won your first dogfight and you notice 
when you were on altitude fighting that battle that your whole team is basically dead and that you have seven eight nine enemy planes left and that you have to do it on your own by yourself the one versus many by this change from an hour long match maximum to 25 minute maximum is gonna destroy this glory the the, the reason most of my best matches and many of them the multitude of them are on my channel in my um, in my plane reviews they are those were the things i came back to war thunder for those matches where you are left alone against six seven eight nine sometimes enemy players and you were gonna have to reverse a lost match those match reversals for me are the the glory and the the carrot that keeps me coming back for more in war thunder but those matches often take 45 to 55 minutes sometimes the complete hour i've had matches run out of time and I, I had only one or two opponents left out of nine when I turned the shit around almost. It is just so devastating that this almost random decision, just a simple random decision. Oh, let's change the match time to 25 minutes. For what? Why? You take away the fucking glory in your air RB game. That is, you give people the time to reverse you know, devastating moments, I'm impossible odds, heroic battles, epic matches, where you turn the shit around from your team being swiped, and you're the only one left, and the enemy team laughing and giggling and trying to taunt you, and then you, on your own, turn that match around from nothing. Magic of War Thunder, at least in the air RB, is now gone because you only have 25 minutes and when you're flying alone and you're up there and you're up against nine people or eight or seven or six and the match has already been playing for 20 minutes you have five minutes to turn that shit around now that is not enough time you're gonna have to rush you're gonna have to take many more head-ons many more risks to even get half the work done now you need that hour maximum game time and how often does that happen Gaijin? Why did you do that? It is not a lot of matches. It's just rarely that that happens. But when it happens, it is awesome. It is epic. It is glorious. And you just took that away with your callous, unthought, not thought through decision to, to reduce the maximum game time to 25 minutes. I think it's a crying shame. It's a detriment to the game that they did that. I'm really pissed off. I'm, I think it is an absolute crying shame that they did that and they when they do these kind of changes i wish they would put they would ask some of us some of us longer playing fellas um if it is a good idea that they would actually do that guys we have this in mind would that be a good idea no guys and it would be a terrible idea i know most i don't want to insult people but when you see mod players or dev players play developers or or moderators you they have their own squadrons they often don't seem too good, right? So they, maybe they don't need this time. Maybe they're already dead after 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. What should I think? If you don't realize what this does and what magic moments this removes from the game, then, then you don't know your own game. 25 minute maximum game time? Come on, man. In, in Joe Biden's word. Bloody hell. It's a senile move. It's absolutely stupendous and I cannot think of why they actually did this. Get people back in the queue faster, is that it? Those 10 players, will that make the difference for quicker queue times? Come on, Gaijin. Get it back to an hour, please. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.